Memphis, Tennessee is the 29th largest city in the U.S. Home of the Blues, Elvis, Graceland, its own version of barbecue, and many other things, it's definitely a city that stands out. The largest city on America's largest river, it has seen much change in its history. Once Tennessee's largest city, its economy and cityscape has seen rises, falls, and stagnation quite contrary to national trends, and has continued to into the present. This is What Happened to Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee began its story in 1819, rising with the river, rails, and cotton. It would prove a valuable target in the Civil War, and would be one of many southern cities taken during the war. Even post-war, rioting would consume the city, claiming many lives of freedmen and former slaves in a protest over the result of the war. Things wouldn't get much better for the city right away, with much disease occurring there from the late 1860s to the late 1870s. The city was also broke by the end of the 1870s, but towards the end of the century would make a comeback. From 1880 to 1970, the city would see double-digit percentage population growth every decade in that period. Infrastructure investment was imperative to this growth, and the city's centralized location within the continental U.S. and the Mississippi made it an ideal place for national commerce. Cotton and lumber would fuel much of the city's early growth. However, its geographic location in and of itself would make it an ideal place for future growth in other industries as well. In much of the early to mid 20th century, the city was well diversified, not being overly dependent on a single industry. From raw materials and manufacturing to mules and transportation, the city would prosper economically for many decades. It would reach over 600,000 in population by the 1970s, despite much racial and social tension within the city. From this point on, though, it would begin a long period of decline, minor gains, and stagnation that continues to this day. Memphis would not experience a typical post-1950 decline like many cities up north in the Rust Belt would, but rather a post-1970 decline that was something of its own. Manufacturing would decline with many auto industry jobs leaving, and industries such as farming did not require nearly as much labor or animal power. With highways and air travel, the river became less important, and thus the city's greatest asset. The second half of the 20th century would see new businesses and industries take form though, with companies such as Holiday Inn, AutoZone, and FedEx, all of which were either founded or eventually headquartered there. The city would still see a decline of about 30,000 residents in the 1980s, and Holiday Inn would eventually leave. It would rise again in the 90s, however it has been mainly stagnant since, despite being in a high growth state in Tennessee and having favorable weather compared to the Rust Belt. So what has happened? Why is it Memphis can't emulate the success of nearby Nashville, which is experiencing exponential growth and has similar weather? For one, Memphis is not a booming economy anymore. It's had many jobs, lost many jobs, and has gained some back. Its status as a logistics hub cannot be questioned. However, that is not necessarily enough to grow a city. Memphis has also had a bad reputation in rankings in crime for many years now, and statistically speaking has been considered one of the most dangerous cities in America. It also just isn't quite the tourist draw that Nashville is now. Beale Street and Graceland just don't have the same tourism draw as Broadway and the Country Music Hall of Fame do. And in personally visiting the two myself, there is much more tourism activity in Nashville compared to Memphis. The city has some things going for it, with a major hub for FedEx, along with a major investment on the riverfront with the new Bass Pro Shops at the Pyramid. However, the city does give off a feel of stagnation. One of its most valuable properties, Mud Island Park, was in disrepair when I visited it. However, Memphis has the location and infrastructure to improve, on top of fairly desirable weather. It remains to be seen where Memphis goes from here. Thank you for watching.